Today I'll be starting a new series on my channel where you can solve some really complicated math problems in only about few seconds using Vedic mathematics. I'll be sharing some really awesome tricks with you guys and using these tricks you can surprise your friends and family and maybe your teachers. Stay tuned to be amazed. Let us first define what Vedic Mathematics is. Well, Vedic Mathematics is an ancient system of Indian Mathematics based on Vedas. And there are several tricks in Vedic Mathematics where you can solve some really complicated math problems in just about 5 to 10 seconds. But in this video, we're going to learn how to multiply any two-digit number by 11. So let's get started and have some fun. So our first one is going to be 45 times 11. How would you guys do this? Well, don't bring out your calculators because we are going to use Vedic mathematics and it's only going to take about 5 to 10 seconds. So step one is we're going to separate both 4 and 5. And um, step two is we're going to add 5 plus 4 and that equals 9. So that digit goes in the middle. And ta-da! This is our answer, 495. Wasn't that so simple? Well, using this strategy, we can, we can multiply any two-digit number by 11. So how about we do another one? How about 84 times 11? And step one is to separate 8 and 4. So let's do that, just like this. So we write it like that. Now, what's the next step? We have to add 8 plus 4, and that equals 12. But wait, there's only space for only one digit in the middle. So what we're going to do is we have to carry over. So we are going to write the ones place digit that's, 12, that's in 12, and that is 2, right? And now we have to carry over the 1 from 12, and we're going to do that right over the 8. And our next step is to add 8 plus 1, and that equals 9. So our answer is actually 924. That was so simple and quick, guys. How about we do another one? Do you guys have any ideas? Sure, Neha. How about uh, 72 um, times 11? All right. So let's write that down. So we have 72 times 11. Now, our first step is to separate 7 and 2. So we're going to do that, like just like this. And we left one space, one digit to be in the middle. Now, we have to add 7 plus 2. And that equals 9. Ta-da, we have our answer. It is 792. Wasn't that so simple? Oh, yes. Thank you so much, Neha. How about one more uh, oh, problem? Yeah. Uh, how about 64 times 11? All right, 64 times 11 it is. So we have 64 times 11. So we wrote it over here. Now, what's the first step, guys? You're right. It's We have to separate 6 and 4, just like so. Now, step 2 is we have to add 6 plus 4, and that equals 10. Now, remember, 10 is a two-digit number, so this problem includes carryover, just like um, 84 times 11. So we'll put the ones place digit, which was zero from 10, and then we have to carry over the one over top of six, and six plus one equals seven. So guess what our answer is? 704. Woohoo! This was so fun, wasn't it? Well, we have two more problems that we're going to solve um, multiplied by 11. So how about we do these two using mental math? Okay, so how about we do 52 times 11? I'm just going to write it down. 
times eleven. Now, let's do the rest in mental math. So, what's the next step, guys? You're right. We have to separate five and two, and the next step is to add five and two together, which is seven. So, the tens place digit in the answer will be seven. So, guess what the answer is? It is five hundred. Seventy-two. Wasn't that so easy? And guys, guess what? We used mental math. Now let's do this one. How about you do it by yourself? Let's do um. How about forty-four times eleven? So let's write it down. I'm gonna give you five seconds, guys. Now I'll count time. Five, four, three, two, one. Did you get your answer? Well, what was it? If you got Four hundred eighty-four. You are correct. And now, guess what? You are a mathematician in solving a two-digit number multiplied by eleven. So how is this, guys? Wasn't it fun and interesting? Well, whenever I have a math problem, I always use this strategy, and it helps me so much. And in my next video, I'll be sharing another amazing strategy. Um, so using Vedic mathematics. So please stay tuned, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned a lot and had some fun. Please subscribe to my channel, like my videos, and share some amazing tricks with your friends.